friends welcome back to the channel it is an honor for me to be operating today on a very dear friend's father who has a mature cataract and has been a chronic diabetic and a chronic renal disease patient for a number of years once we are done with the staining of the anterior capsule we are filling the anterior chamber with a cohesive viscoelastic the main incision is a 2.8 mm triplanar incision and the capsule rexus is initiated with the 26 gauge cystitom and completed with the utricular forceps thankfully there was not much intumescence in this cataract and we didn't have any rexus runoff i attempt to rotate the nucleus with a 27 gauge cannula without doing hydro dissection but to me now it appears as if it's a very sticky cataract so I'm going ahead with a visco dissection in multiple quadrants to try and release the adhesions between the nucleus and the capsule. The nucleus is rotated easily and we go ahead with a direct chop. So I'm using the Ertli Cater X1 machine which is a machine from Switzerland. It's a pretty good machine for almost all grades of cataract and as you just saw I got my first chop and I rotated the nucleus and I'm attempting the second chop. My FACO settings are as such. My vacuum that I'm using is 450 millimeters of mercury. The flow rate or the aspiration flow rate is 45 cc per minute and I'm using about 70% FACO power in a pulse power modulation of about 10 pulses per minute with a 50% on time. As you can see that the chopping is a multi planar chopping technique wherein the complete chop is achieved when the chopper goes to the deeper plane and then you do a horizontal separation to ensure that the posterior fibers are separated from the neighboring fragments. emulsification has proceeded routinely and in the last fragment you have to make sure that your blunt instrument is protecting the PC from tramplining upwards. Very few cortical fibers are left in the capsule bag and these are removed with bimanual irrigation aspiration. Now injecting cohesive viscoelastic in the capsular bag to inflate it to its maximum and we are implanting a three-piece hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens from Abbott Medical Optics. This is my go-to IOL because the OptiEdge technology and the 10 degree posterior angulation of the optics are very effective in preventing posterior capsular opacification. Once the IOL is in the bag, we now remove all the cohesive viscoelastic from the anterior chamber and the wounds are hydrated and this concludes the case. And I was very honored and very humble that a very dear old friend considered me worthy enough to operate on his father's eye. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one.